Hey Retro Food fans, today is collaboration day and I have a friend in the kitchen who has a channel you're gonna love. She's gonna be right here sharing a childhood food memory with us. You're gonna love it. Let's get started. This is Yester Kitchen and I'm Jill. Thank you so much for being here. So today, I want you to meet a friend of mine, Judy Ann. Come on in. Hello. This is Judy Ann. Isn't she adorable? <laughs> <laughs> so Judy Ann has a channel here on YouTube called Just Date. Yes. And oops, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. We're getting a little. We're getting it's getting hot already in here. Ooh, that's okay. We're going to make something really good. I'm just going to put this here for now. There we go. So Judy Ann hosts a channel, yep. Just Date. Just Eight. And tell us about it. Look All right. Cute. Um, so Just Eight Eight um, is a foodie recipes, foodie adventure, and all that good stuff uh, here on YouTube and Instagram, Facebook, and but mostly on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, so definitely check out my channel whenever you can. And I'm gonna put a link to her channel right in the description so you can go visit her. And when you do, tell her Jill says hi. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> what are we gonna make today? We're gonna be making miso soup. But now I'm half Japanese, half Filipina, and I literally was born in Osaka, Japan. Oh, you were? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. And so, that's, so cool. that's like my my main root. I mean, ever since I was learning to eat something, it was miso soup. And so, I um, love miso soup. Awesome. So I'm going to be teaching you how to make miso soup the way I like to make miso soup. Well, that's probably the best one. <laughs> So I'm gonna put, I'll put this back on so it yes. start heating up. Okay, so we're gonna go right into it. So we're gonna put in two cups of water. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See? Yeah. We're totally good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, two cups of water into the heating source. Now. <laughs> <laughs> we have okay. an electric burner here. <laughs> and so it's on like a medium high right now. Is yeah. that good? I'd say okay. medium high is good. Okay. Um, and then I have different tofus here that you can see. Now, I usually like medium firm. What kind of tofu do you like? Medium or firm. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Wakame is the, um, how do you say it in English? I have to show this way. Oh, yeah. It's, it's um, seaweed. Seaweed. Yes. yes. Seaweed. <laughs> Brain fart. No. Um, so, oh. some miso soups that I have here. Now, these are for the stove top. And um, do you want to go white or red today? What's your favorite? I usually like white, so let's go white. Let's go white. So this is a good job here. I think that's like three tablespoons. Oh, three tablespoons? Yeah. That's a good Yeah. Okay, but before I put my miso though, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the wakame. Go ahead and open up the wakame for me. And I wanna say, like a pinch of one tablespoon. Okay, so about one tablespoon. Is that yeah. about right? Yeah. Okay, so here's our wakame, one tablespoon of others, right in the, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. So they're dehydrated, so you want to put them in hot water uh, for them to expand. But I'm just going to show you how I like to make them. GDM's version <laughs> is the best. Okay, so um, let's see here. Oh, look at that. It's already yeah, loosening up already and hydrating. Up. And here's the ohashi. This is chopstick, cooking chopstick. I learned something new today. Ohashi. Hashi. Hashi. So, Say it with me. Ohashi. Ohashi. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up to make sure it's doing okay. Yep. And that's when I'm gonna. This is two-handed action here. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. That's how I. That's how I do it. I've got gotcha. you. Okay. I'm watching. So I go ahead and put the spoon in here with the miso, and then grab my ohashi and just slur oh. it in. Slur it in like this. I don't like to put all uh, big clump in the pot because. No, this is just the way my grandma makes it. I love it. Or even even my mom. Or like the like the way um what you should call it. So that's I mean you do it because that's what you saw. Yeah, pretty much. I love it. I mean that's that's how so many people learn how to do yeah. it. Yeah. But the trick is to have it in the spoon. That's awesome. It's like the magic. So Judy Ann goes yeah. to all kinds of places on her channel. I mean, I've seen her at Starbucks, I've seen her at ramen places, and then she does a lot of amazing Asian cooking at home, mm -hmm. which I'm a huge fan of. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, of course. <laughs> I wouldn't have you here if I wasn't a big fan. That's so cute. Oh, thank you. Oh, 
thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as it starts to bubble is when you're like, okay. Now, I want to say a lot of like, um, I don't know, Japanese household wives when they make their miso soup, they like to sift all the bubbles off. Oh wow. Yeah. That's a lot of work. But I leave it in because I like it. <laughs> I'm super a, lazy. I'm a big fan of easy. <laughs> yeah. Right. And it's tasty. So anyway, so um, talking about different misos here, we're dealing with the white, but there's red. And um, just miso in general, because it's fermented soybeans, it has so much minerals and vitamins. Yeah. And so um, I think that's why I was fed this miso soup since I was a baby. Oh. Now I want to taste. So. Okay. okay. Which bowl would you like? Oh, scratch two balls, which yes. is very Japanese, and I'm letting them go. I don't know. Okay, because now these actually have the lids on them. Now this is one one kind of bowl, right? And it's like if you ever make an obento like oh, yeah. a tray, yeah, the yeah, box, you cover the miso soup. It's like just um, oh yeah, okay. But then as you're making the miso soup, you want to taste it. You just use the lid oh. to taste it. That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. which bowl would you like to use? I'll use this one, because it's closer. Okay, sure. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Better? Yes. Okay, Oops. so that's what you want it to look like, right? Yes. Just and a you, little taste. Before you, you, so you always taste it before you put tofu. Okay. Oh, it's good. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Okay. I'm surprised at like that little bit. I know, so right? Much flavor. So much flavor. And now, I would, now the longer you let it simmer, the better. And that's when we're gonna put in the tofu. Now, I like to put um, as much tofu, but yeah. Um, well, let's show how. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. So, <laughs> the size of cubes that we have is around there. I've seen, um, I've yeah. seen like in restaurants, they're teeny weeny, but like, yes. like Janine was saying before we started doing this, you can really do any size you want. Mm hmm. It's like, so, excuse my hands. Don't worry, I'll wash my hands. She did. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna put in as many tofu here. I like it really meaty with tofu. And we're gonna let it simmer for a while here so that the miso could grasp in the uh, tofu. Okay, right. then we'll be back yeah. when it's done simmering. Yeah. One of my memories with miso soup, other than having it as a kid, now, I have been in the foster care system, mm -hmm. and so when I've been bounced around house to house to house in my teenage years, yeah, that's my teenage years, preteen, I entered the system when I was 11 and a half, 12, and then emancipated at 19. Okay, every house I went to, what's the one source that brought me like home and feel of comfort is miso soup, and that's why I'm okay. doing my my favorite childhood memories kind of recipe with miso soup because it's always been like my go-to. So it really feel comfort. Yeah, you it's your warm blanket. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh. So, yeah, every every home I went to in my foster life, in my foster journey, um, I had to teach how to make miso soup. But this is kind of cool because I'm able to capture on video this time. My Japanese family, when they make miso soup for the week, they make a big pot. And what's really interesting, they make a huge pot and when it's almost down to like maybe one serving for dinner left. Yeah. They keep on adding to it. Oh really? Yeah. So it never the pot never really finishes. Oh that's interesting. It does eventually get washed. I don't know when, but <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's one of the things I remember when I was in Japan before I came to America to like, you know live in America to enjoy miso soup. It's like, they always have a big, huge pot. Wow. And my grandma's from Okinawa, so okay. um, they have the saying, like, never waste any food. And I, I wonder maybe that's what's, you know, making me remember how to make miso soup, or like the culture behind it, because it's like, never ever have, like, empty pot of miso soup. Oh, I like that. You got it boiling. Okay. That's good. I like it. All right. Let's serve you some. I would love it. Okay. I would love it. All right. So GDM was saying that 
letting it boil mm -hmm. helps the tofu get the flavor of the miso. Mm -hmm. And so the longer you let it go, simmer, not boil. Yeah. The longer you let it go, the more your tofu will be flavored. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Yay, I can't Yay. wait. Yay! All right. Now, I like to enjoy my miso soup with some rice. Always. A bowl of rice and a bowl of miso soup. So. Do you put the rice in the soup? Sometimes when I'm like uh, on the go, like in the, um, if you're too in a hurry to eat breakfast, you just grab your miso soup and dump the rice in it. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, here's your soup. Thank you. Ooh. Are we gonna put the rice in or? We could do that. And then onion? Oh yes, onions is topping. Okay. <laughs> so we have chopped onions. Yes. Right, just, well, green onions, you know, slice just your average onions. So you just put them in? Yep. Okay. However you like. Like pinch or tablespoon, three tablespoons. Well, Hubby hates onions and I love them, so since he's not here, <laughs> I'm all overboard. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Nice. And then I made some rice earlier. Mm -hmm. Just your standard white rice. Yep. I'll put one tablespoon for me. Yeah. Okay, so what I have is my soup and my rice and my onions. Yay! All ready to go. And I'm gonna have a little Hi. bit of rice in here too because I'm hungry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta come to her house so hungry. <laughs> it is lunchtime. Yeah. Hopefully. Cheers! Cheers! Mmm. <laughs> oh wow. This is way better than the sushi bar. Yeah? Way better. Nice. Yeah, I'm super happy. Mm. I'm super happy. You should try real miso soup. <laughs> it's, as you can see, it's super easy. Really simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. Now I know why you eat it all the time. Yeah. It's like a go-to. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If I'm sick or if I'm feeling sad or happy, I eat miso soup. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you yes. so much thank you. for coming to visit me yes. and being here and teaching me about miso. Yay! Definitely go visit Judy Ann on her channel. You're going to love it. But thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much. If you would like to explore more dishes from your childhood or just the past, I invite you to subscribe. I release new videos every Friday. In the meantime, here's some more retro dishes for you. And remember, every dish, even miso soup from Judy Ann, has a story. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.